Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Solar Gene and today we're going to finally get to launch hopefully our lunar ship and give over the contract ship for Japan and hopefully get a few more contracts going and hopefully extend our station to our second module which is what we're aiming for. That's 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 what we're aiming for today so let's uh, let's crack on with what we were doing. We've got a few shuttles arriving at the main station. This is going to get real busy with resources so we're going to have to keep things flowing we've got our research still ticking over nicely which is good we've got a couple of things that we need to do here still so we're still waiting on our polymer to arrive we've got pretty much everything else done and dusted and ready to go for this it's just a case of getting the fuel in making sure we take out all the resources that we've got left over i think we've got everything done now there's only a couple of bits left here which we need to get rid of so yeah it's almost ready to hand over the lunar ship on the other hand still has a bit of work to do yet we've not established anything yet we've got our apartments ready we've got the two hallways obviously we also need to have our medical bay now what i'm going to do for this is i'm actually going to do, i'm going to have two medics basically and they're going to operate the station that's what we're going to do with it so whilst we're still waiting for that development on the other one shall we Look and see if we can get our medical station and get our medical station. Excellent. Go ahead and add that. Let's get our two medic bays if we can. Surgeries. Others number one and they should be able to get past fine, but just in case they can't, we'll add a door there. They can get in from both angles, which is nice. So that's that sorted. We've also got to have somewhere for them to sit because they will complain because there'll be nothing for them to do for quite a while we also need a vending machine for them to eat so we'll go ahead and get the vending machine in there first and then we'll get our two chairs for them here go hopefully that's enough room we'll just pull it back a little bit there we go Perfect. Um, so there's not really going to be much for them to do. We could do some recreational, which I'm going to see if I've got enough resources to do that. Um, we don't actually have recreational a lot, possibly. Uh, yeah, we do recreational. There we go. Let's go ahead and add the recreational pod on here. Excellent. We can do that. And then all I'm going to do is jobby thing. Virtual reality playground. Um, hmm. Get recliner in here. There we go. Coffee table. Put that next to it. And then we're going to try and get 330 bulbs from our main ISS. When it loads over, there we go. We've got. Still more shuttles arriving. So to our lunar ship, let's send over. We'll send over four hundred of you. Um, I think that should do us. We've got oh some liquid fuel as well, so we'll send that over there. We'll send. Uh, I think it's going to be eighteen hundred that we're going to need for this. We'll give it a try. Over to you there. Let's see how our Japan ships are looking. We've just got one of the shuttles to arrive, which is nice. So that should give us, hopefully, the resources we require. So just fast forward a little bit. When it departs, we should have our resources. There we go. Excellent. Um, have a look. Wait, how many was it that we needed? Six members of staff. Uh, four... Five. Still don't have enough, but we have done research. Let's just pause this for a second and have a look what other researches we have. Tissue engineering. We did have one for a tissue engineering over here as well. Doesn't look like we've got it anymore. Run research. Tissue engineering. Excellent. But one day to com complete it. See if we can get it done. And that's two done there. Issue engineering. There it is. Excellent. 
Let's set that on its way. I'm sure I ordered more than that, but apparently I didn't. Five medical bays. Okay, so we still need... I think that should be... The one that's arriving is going to be fuel. I miscalculated, so we'll nip over back here. There's a little bit of back and forward at the moment, but once we streamline things, we'll have things running a lot smoother. While that sends... Oh, that's over to the lunar ship, or what I did earlier. There we go. While that's doing that, we can build our next habitat module, which is going to be another three-layer one here. And for this one, I am going to start rotating over. There we go. For this one, I'm going to start building a industry section, and this will make a little bit more sense when we come to doing it. There we go. So we need an industrial zone. While we build the industrial zone, I'm just going to stop the rotation, just so things are a little bit steadier. Uh, because it just things like that. I'm not sure why it's bouncing around. But again, we're going to keep to the same sizing as before, 3x3. Three three. Go. Now. If we look at our buy, you'll see that our oxygen is nearly three times the price of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy water to produce oxygen, which will also produce hydrogen as well. And then we're going to use that to produce something else. So let's first of all have a look at our internal layer here. Give it a little bit of a balcony. People don't launch themselves out the doorway. And then I'm going to give it another balcony here. And then a set of stairs. We want a set of stairs there. Another balcony. Rotate that around there. And another set of stairs. There. Like so. That's not going to work, is it? Because I've put it to the corner of the bloody doorway. It will work here like so in this construction and then what I can do is I can place somewhere there if I want to but I'm going to leave it there for now because what I'm going to do is there's a couple of things I want to do so the first one I want is an ice melter which is going to take up basically most of this because if you can see there is only one place I can put it which is there fits perfectly it's not going to fit perfectly because I still can't get up and down the bloody stairs so let's just remove this because I'm an idiot and I can't put stirs in properly. Let's just uh, remove this section. Remove this section. Because basically I want to... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to remove that section, remove that section, and remove that section there. That's what I've done wrong. And if I do this, I can then do this. Matter of fact, we, I don't even think we need that lower layer. Need that lower layer? No, we do not. But we need one there. Now it's operational. So now we can have it where... Have a look. Hmm. I'm actually going to remove these. Hopefully they don't step out. They'll obviously be locked. It'll be a sealed door. Uh, that'll do. Fine. Because now I can you around and I can find somewhere to put you. Just there. 
then we've got our O2 to CO, uh, sorry, our CO2 to, oh, pretty damn close there. So yeah, basically our CO2 that we're generating can now be converted into O2. We've got things like assembly lines and production composites and stuff like that. We're not worried too much about that. What I am worried about, we're going to need a robot repair table at some stage, but I'm not worried, too worried about that. What I'm more concerned about is this here. So what we could do is we could turn our oxygen and our hydrogen into fuel. Our ice melter gives us ice into water. And then if we head on over here, where are you? Water gets converted into oxygen and hydrogen. So we're going to need a water electrolysis. And we're going to need a hydrogen fuel production. Then we're going to need some steel. I think it's steel. What do we need for our water? Uh, it'd be called steel. Yeah, it is steel. Excellent. So we'll give ourselves 200 steel for now. Now, we don't need that ice melter, but what's going to happen is, is we're going to get a lot of ice from our stuff anyway, and it just means that we can use solid storage as, as well as liquid storage to store both. So if we're getting full on one, we can use the other to alternate, and we can still continue our production. As a matter of fact, what I should have done is actually bought some ice. So I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy 5,000 lots of ice for now. Because what the difference is, is basically when I convert it into water, it's going to be a liquid or gas. Our liquid fuel is also taking up our liquid or gas storage. So both of them take up the same kind of location, so we can offset one with the other. Our O2 CO2 is now coming down. Or it should be coming down. So we're producing oxygen as a byproduct anyway. So that's going to help with things. We may actually need a second one, because I don't know if that's going to help. So it's basically keeping it steady because we've only got two people. So let's go ahead and place a second one in. That's now going to basically replace our, our CO2. For two people, we've, oh, we've got six, so we're going to need more. I think we had less than that. There we go, let's get a third one in. There we go. And actually, let's, let's put a fourth one in. Fourth one in. I'm going to move you because you're in my way. There we go. Now we should see our O2 drop in. Or it will do over time. How many staff positions we got? Still got the one position. We're going to need to look at our... Where are we? We've got our... Th well, we've got our six people in apartments already. What are you guys doing? You guys are wanting European cuisine. Why are we? So you're actually wanting European. So we're going to have to get a uh, European. Okay, that's fine. So we'll we'll switch off for a second on that. We will begin our European cuisine. Chinese, European cuisine. So. What I'm going to do here. I'm not sure how this one's going to work for a 3x3, three three, but we'll give it a go. Hopefully we'll be able to do some stirs and stuff. What not, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Nice big European cuisine. Right. Okay. Kind of cool, doesn't it? We need some stirs here. So basically, we're going to need some stirs down. There's a cross. So what if I put the to the I want to put that that there like so. Ah, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. 
Oh, you're gonna go there. So. I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work. There we go. That gives us two layers. You then build a third layer above. Like so. We now have three layers for our kitchen. So, what can we put in here? Alright, well. We need something that's going to produce food. What have we got? We'll get, we'll get the double cook one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and think of a layout for this now. Have it have that there. Have refrigerators. I think that's the back of the front of the refrigerator. That's the front. Get you around. Refrigerator there. I'm hoping this is gonna face the same way. It does, excellent. Um we can have a Nice little eating desk at the top here. As a matter of fact, let's put this as a two-person eating desk. Top here. Um, we're going to need... I think we're going to need some more storage stuff here. I don't really got much in the way of storage stuff. Got like a... Yeah, the, the two fridges. That'll do. So this is for two chefs as well. Um, we can also place a... I think we're lacking on a few things. We can place one here. And then we can place another one here. However, as long as everybody can reach that, we've got two more layers that we can build for tables and stuff like that. Um, which is awesome. So we're gonna need we're gonna need two more chefs. We'll keep European for now. Uh, let's get a gold one and a white one. Uh, from that, we're gonna need a charging station. Um, hmm. So we've got our industrial zone and we've got our new zone there. I'm gonna try something here. So try building a hallway. One, two, one, two, three, one. Not enough materials, what we're short on. Components. 3,000 components on the way up to the shuttle. Okay. Right, so my basic premises for this is pretty set. Um, we're going to need some food as well, so while we're at it, what do we need for European? Um... Hmm. I'm going to wait until it docks because it'll tell me then what I require while that's doing that let's get to our Jupiter ship we've got some resources for that coming along ok so our final piece of the puzzle goes in excellent we're meeting our target for our Delta V and our thrust. As a matter of fact, the Delta V will probably go up as I start to reduce this down. However, let's get our six Japanese doctors. Uh, Japanese doctors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hire all six. They'll arrive shortly. We then need to send back everything that we're not going to use. 47 polymers, 72 optics, 32 electronics, 266 in components, 24 in uh, electronics, lamps even, 84 motors, and then I'm going to... I think the liquid fuel is too much. I'm going to drop it down by 100. Uh, there we go. So, that's going to send that there. Let's over check over our lunar ship now. Fingers crossed we can finally do something with our lunar ship. We've got recreational that we need to fix. Um, I'm going to turn this around like so. That should be accessible now, hopefully. 
we have our recreational we have our apartments have we stocked our apartments up let's just double check we haven't yet so we need to go ahead and place a couple of beds in and we also need to put doors in as well uh, since there's only two people at the moment i'm only going to put two in um we are going to have to construction up Get the doors change these doors because i don't like them there we go two doors are operational so we got two bedrooms we got the hospital which is set up to go and we've also got recreational and seating as well we should have enough food for the two 50 rations which is more than enough so let's uh, let's order two people again two doctors um we're currently running a european space station so we'll have european doctors So they'll arrive next thing we need to do is look at our way of actually getting there at the moment we have no engines on board so let's go ahead and let's get some thrusters so one two thrusters so you can see that at the moment we've got 45 kilonewtons of thr thrust as a matter of fact i'm going to increase that so we're going to have a little bit more thrust hopefully get us there a little bit faster finish construction i'm not going to take the components out but we've got 90 kilonewtons of thrust so now we need to get ourselves some fuel let's hope we ordered fuel back at our space station we did excellent so let's go ahead and send some fuel over. Uh, we're going to send. I said two. Uh, we've got four engines, so let's send twenty five hundred fuel. Uh, yep, I sent it to the right ship. Excellent. We've got two chefs now in our bays. Let's sign the staff. We still need our charging docks research has been completed excellent let's see what research we have now we've got ultralight high durable materials carbon computers uh i've regulated semiconductors nothing else there so off we go So it's all self-regulated self semiconductors could be a potential. Uh, ultralight high durability materials is also another one. Carbon computers is also another one. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do carbon computers because that might help us in the long run. So let's have a look which one was, I think it was a USA one. Apparently it was not. Or was it? Has it gone already? Oh, there it is. Go ahead and set that up. Right, so we're going to need water, fruit, and veg, and wheat. So we're going to buy 500 of you. 500 of you. 500 of you. And we'll get 300 of you for now because we're going to be producing water. So once that deploys, we'll have our European cuisine. Excellent, so we're set. Up. The only thing I need to do is get the charge station sorted out, so let's uh let's work on that quickly. Two, three. In this construction, I think I only put two. I did that no I put three. Okay, so personally, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything here. Because I think by doing that. Oh, actually, I, I could possibly do that. And then place that there. But then that gives me no access to these layers here. Hmm. 
unless... Unless we make this... I'm thinking of making this something... A complete power plant. You know what I am? I'm going to make this complete power plant. So, remove that, remove that, remove that, and then remove all of these. We'll make this a power plant, which will be useful anyway because we, can, you know, we've obviously got stuff that we can do later down the line. Power plant. We've also got things like nuclear power plants that we can look at and stuff like that. Once we do safe nuclear. There we go. I need a third, I need a third. Okay. Let's get inside. Go ahead and get... Oh, that's the wrong button I press. Well, the wrong location, I should say. Go. Let's just remove the one underneath for now. Again, I'm going to have you go there, I think. Have that there. Have a new one here. So what we can now do, if I head into here, so we can have a generator which allows us to help with power and we obviously have our robot recharging stations. Uh, since our robot recharging stations are quite important to us because they're obviously powering our cooks, I'm going to uh, have them on this layer here. We're going to have two on either side of the door. And then... Obviously, we've only got two chefs at the moment, but... Now we do have a problem with our battery power, so I am going to place a little generator in here. What do we need? So that should start burning some fuel. There we go. Power is on. There we've got critical battery failure. Staff. We don't need any staff for it. 2098, is it using power? I don't think it's actually using any power. Lights are out. Um, max produced per hour. Gives us 100 power. I think, I think somebody needs to go and like deliver fuel to it. There we go, it's turned on now. Is it turned on now? I feel like it's turned on and it's operational. The light's on it. Is our CO2 increasing? Our CO2 is just doing nothing, I don't... I don't particularly know if actually any of this is operational. Build more generators. Let's have a look. That's definitely going down. I'm going to guess that it is working. Let's place a second generator in here. Now it says not enough energy to cover. 95%, 90%. Let's get the full charge. Get some more solar power plant, uh, sol solar panels operational, shall we? I think that's going to be the best option for us here. Then the power plant should hopefully just just help it whilst it's on the dark side of the of Earth. Two, three. Now that's saying eight hundred and ten percent. 
confused about that number. Two. Come on. Three. Horrible placement. Four. Finish construction. It's too dark. Astronauts can't see. We've got full power. Why is it dark? There we go. Everything's operational. Everything's operational now. Not quite sure what was going on there. 86. What's up here? Right. I think it's working. I think it's all working fine now. It may have been because this was turned off, maybe. But that's definitely eating into my liquid fuel. So we definitely need to start looking at our industrial stuff. Let's uh, let's just turn off these generators for now. Right. Japan contract ship. Let's get it launched and finished, and then that's us done with this. Okay. Sign staff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six staff. Done. Why have we got seating problems? Did I not make seats for everybody? No, I did not make seats for everybody. I'm not concerned if it'll let me launch. I don't know if it'll let me launch. Do an attempt. All the needs of the crew have to be met. That's annoying. It's okay. All we need is basically. So the oh, yeah, the chairs that are in that other section don't actually work then. Right. So we're going to need a couple of hallways. So let's just send three hundred to you, two hundred to you, and um, I don't know what else it was. Oh no, two. 300, uh, no, nope, that's the wrong one. 300, 200. Go. Lunar ship has arrived. Excellent. Let's uh, give them the jobs as well. Hallway recreation, hospital, science staff, crew doctors. Right. We have 90 kilonewtons of thrust and we've got 5 kilometers delta V. So. We're almost ready to launch. Still got shuttles arriving. Then this is bringing fuel, I think. Go optics. Let's hope we don't need any optics for a while. You bring it to me. I think it's more fuel. Yeah, it is. Right. Let's have a look and see what our destination is like. Oh, we have to wait for all the shuttles. Let's uh, let's go to the solar system. Do a quick zapper speed. Go. Zapper speed. Full rotation. Let's do the Japan one first. Switch to the station. That's now telling me it's got seat and then we'll avoid. Okay. Construction. Hallway. One. Up into our hallway. Gonna need some seating. One. I don't think we're going to fall in. Smaller? They're not smaller, they're a lot bloody bigger. Smaller? Two. Three. Excellent. Needs of our staff are met. 
Um, I, I could send all this back, but realistically, I'm not going to because it's not really that expensive to lose that. So let's transfer by contract. Job done and complete. Excellent. So we're still doing research at the moment. Obviously, we're doing the carbon computers. So let's just double check and make sure Japan doesn't ask for carbon computers. Uh, Self-regulating semiconductors and high temperature construction materials. I think we've got another one for that. Semiconductors. No, no but there is one for self-regulating semiconductors though. Let's take both of them. Plenty of extra cash. Right. Do a quick zap. Go. Let's have a look at our lunar ship now. Let's make sure it's all set and ready to go. Okay, destination. The moon. Arrival, 2nd of May. Um, so the we need a lot more liquid fuel. Travel time. Just want three days travel time. Yeah, get any less than that. Two days, eighteen hours. Two days, 18 hours. I'm happy with that. Let's launch it. Okay, there we go. So our station is now going to basically go around this axis here and then break orbit around here, which we'll see if I fast forward a little bit. Okay, this station will now break the orbit. Needs to. When is it going to do it? 23rd of April. Spin it round a few times. 23rd of April at 21. Oh, it's already done it. There you go. Blown its thrusters. Looks like our Earth orbit station is still struggling with power. Lunar ship is also struggling with energy. Because it's out of reach of the sun, it might be blocked because of the sun. Let's just double check to our Earth orbit. Want to make sure, yeah, we are we are struggling with power, which is going to affect our research. So let's get some more. Get some more. Um, no, let's put on the solar panels. One, two, three. Four, five. I think that's the same level as that. That looks cool. One. Go. Finish construction. So I'm wondering if it's the battery that's the problem or if it's actually the recharge rate. Let's have a look. So we're at 100. Well, we're nowhere near 100% recharge rate at the moment. Uh, shortage of rice, bro. We don't need rice. Yes, yeah, so we're at the night cycle and it's only on about... Well, we're, we're, yep, there we go. So we're dropping down now. So it's definitely the recharge rate. I don't know if we've got enough power this time. Let's have a check. Sunrise in two hours. Oh, yeah, excellent. So it was, it was just the fact that it just wasn't charging enough. Okay, so what are we actually researching? Oh, we're researching computers, which is good for us because it means we can upgrade our computers. But I think that's going to be us for this episode. We've got a new European cuisine. We've got the industrial zone ready. And we've got the power plant ready as well. Um, I'm not a major fan of these generators, but we're going to have this room basically have the generators on board. Um, that's going to be our backup power in case there's any emergency. 
Um, we're going to keep off them for now because we don't have the resources to basically um, keep running them. Well, that's our new station. That's the station spinning. Why have I got a block that's attached randomly? That's slightly annoying. This block. Oh, that was the one I was checking, wasn't it? I remember now. Oh, we're at it. Can we do anything to do with... We've got bioengineering. Excellent. So we can now use bioengineering. Can we have this connect to where I want to connect it to? Just rotate you around here. It can only be installed on rotating section. Shame. That's fine. Let's just get back to our station. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll... You know what? Why not? Let's get our third section ready to go. There we go. Uh, Bioengineering. So this is also production and waste. So go ahead and bio let's just let's stop the spinning which makes it hard work right there we go organic biotechnic go six seven eight. keeping with the same sizing There we go. So we have our new biotechnic lab. So we're going to do a similar thing. Place a flooring out here. Yeah. Is that the way I want to do it? How I want to do it? So actually, I don't need that. Do I need that one? No, I don't need that one. I've done it wrong. Because that is... Yeah, like so. That ladder will make sense in a second when I get my flooring complete. So that's going to be... Flooring there. Try and do this one here. Flooring here. Like so. Go three layers, three floors. Right. At the moment, all we can do is basically a bioreactor. I'm going to place a few bioreactors in here. Yep. We don't need four, I don't think. It's, well, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll leave the four for now. But yeah, that's it. That's what we've got for this episode. We've launched the lunar ship. Yes, it's got low power. It's not generating any power whatsoever for some reason. Don't know why. Um, It must be just on a dark part of the moon. Um, should be gathering. I don't know why it's not charging because I'm not quite sure why. But that should generate some light. Or at least I thought it would. Unless it is complete. No, the sun's right there. I'm not quite sure why it's not generating any power. We've run our research, which is nice. Just our over research. Self regulating. Oh, that, that's a chunky one. There we go. This is not really a great lot we can do here because obviously we can. 
do a little bit. So uh, see if we can get a power plant going. Oh, construction robots are obviously struggling with the charge. But then that's just fixed my charge problem. Not sure what's going on now. Yeah, that does. It's recharging. I'm gonna leave it. Let's not fix let's not break it. If it goes again, then we'll solve it. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know in the comment section if you've got any suggestions, ideas, or anything like that. But hopefully you're enjoying the gameplay. I'm really enjoying how my station's pull, uh, coming out now. It's uh, it's looking pretty awesome. Uh, we do need to start doing the other side here, so it's looking a little bit more symmetrical. Right now, if we put it on, it just looks a bit odd. But it is looking pretty cool. There's a lot more to be done yet. A lot more. We haven't done our industry zone yet. We definitely want to be doing that. So that's going to be one of the next things we do. But other than that, I think we're looking really good. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section if you've got your own suggestions, ideas, or anything like that. But until next time, everybody, take care for now. I shall see you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now.